Good morning. It's late October and it's time to get the heating season back into shape for the winter. Uh, I've had this this idea for a while and uh, with the help of a friend of mine named Paul we realized it this weekend. I wanted to put a, a loop and although this looks like the uh, the same u-shaped pipe that we've seen in the stoves before. It's actually a uh, six foot length of Schedule 40 stainless which contains water. So we are heating the water inside the three foot elm wildfire elm. Let me grab the flashlight. And uh, there are two connections off the back of the stove. The cold water enters on this leg and the hot water leaves the stove at this connection. Here's a blow-off, temperature pressure relief blow-off in case there should be steam in the system. The water comes in, it, it uh, is heating a tank in the other room and this is the, the cold water in. Here's a common uh, drain valve, which is what we use with a garden hose to fill the system. There is a, get just the right amount of light on this, temperature gauge that's reading about well, just over 90 degrees. That's the temperature of the water coming off the bottom of the tank in the other room. There's the 42 gallon galvanized tank. A little trouble focusing through this window. And once again, here is the hot water line going away from the stove. And the gauge on that reads approximately 135 degrees. Goes through the wall. And we'll take a quick run to the other room to look at the tank. The idea is this room doesn't have a wood stove in it. I wanted to be able to heat this large tank. Okay, 42 gallons uh, tractor supply by. The hot water comes in the top and leaves at the bottom to go back to the wood stove. It's really hard to measure the temperature of, of this because my little gun, which has been so handy in other applications, uh, just doesn't give an accurate reading from a shiny surface. It says it's 64 degrees, and yet when I put my hand on it, that thing is hot. If I take a reading off of this label, it says it's 115 degrees. That's more like what I would expect it to be. And the temperature in the tank varies from being very hot at the top, still very hot at the label, and you go down to the bottom and it's kind of lukewarm. So that's the 95 degree temperature water that's returning to the wood stove. And basically, it will cycle. Uh, it's called gravity feed. It will do it by itself. and it will constantly be radiating heat into the room which is just what I wanted. Um, we'll go over here to the crude little thermometer. I don't know if we can read that or not but it's saying about 60 degrees. It stays 60 degrees day and night in here which is which is fine. It avoids me having to use the fan to blow the hot air from this room it avoids me having to use the Renai heater and uh, spend the money on the propane. So basically this is not a do-it-yourself system unless you are trained as a plumber and also trained to work with these closed systems. That's what this is called. This is a closed system. It's not con uh, connected to the, the water system from the house. Uh, if it uh, if you should have a leak and it runs low on water you have to um, pull the plug at the top of the tank and refill it 
otherwise it will develop an airlock which I've seen happen a couple of times once again we will take the readings oh it's at 136 now and down here is a little over 90 uh, once it's been running for a while, it'll have about a 20 degree temperature differential between the temperature of the water coming to back to the stove and the temperature leaving. So there are two horizontal legs. Uh, it's a U-shaped piece inside of the stove. The lower leg is the cold return and it comes to the front of the stove. So this is about almost six feet of this three quarter inch pipe exposed inside of the stove. Uh, it's fall. I don't have hot fires, so I don't have any data on what it's going to do in the winter time. But at least at this point, when it was just about freezing when I got up this morning, it kept the shop at a constant 60 degrees. Although the, the wood stove had been out for the night, I didn't feed the wood stove uh, very much from uh, dinner time on. And we're up to six minutes already, so I better cut this short. Thank you very much for watching.